Compared to other creatures of the night, night wraith might not seem all that dangerous. After all, one might ask, how much harm could a pale, withered woman in a tattered dress do? The answer, quite a bit. <laughs> Hello beauties, my name is Eva and I welcome you as an egg in my second Halloween 2019 makeup tutorial. I've already blocked my brows with glue, peachy concealer and liquid one and of course I applied my foundation to make my face skin in the same color as my torso. And again I'm going to use water activated paints from Maroon Paradise palette. Now starting with yellow mustard shade and stamping this color randomly on my face. I'm blending it but nothing crazy, I want it to look patchy. Some areas are more, some less pigmented. Then I'm doing the same with light brown and dark brown. I'm taking less fluffy brush to create lines and texture with dark brown paint. I want to create some sort of very slim face like skull covered only with skin. While doing this think about how mummies look like. Also with dark brown I'm creating age spots. I'm just doodling on my face and then I'm blending some of the spots. Now with black paint I'm painting opened nose cavity. I'm starting to create teeth, more loose pieces of skin, but it's only a sketch and I'm going to change it later anyway. For shading I'm using Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. I'm starting with dark, cool toned brown shade and I'm contouring my whole face. Like I said, imagine a school but still with a skin, so I don't want to create harsh lines. I'm deepening everything with black eyeshadow. And I'm creating loose pieces of skin on my chin and a hole in my neck and chest with black paint. Because we are talking about that lady, I need to slim myself into almost skeleton, so I'm outlining my neck and arms with black paint. I'm shading my collarbones and ribs. And I'm also creating a shadow of bones in my chest hole. I'm shading my eye sockets even more, leaving eyelids always brighter than crease and eye area. My eyes must seem to be large and set deeper into skull. I'm pulling a face to create wrinkles around my eyes and nose. Then I'm adding more details of my loose pieces of skin and I'm starting to correcting my teeth with white paint, beige eyeshadow and brown paint. Now I'm shading my, let's say, beginning of brown bone to give my eyes more sad and in pain look. I'm highlighting and contouring spaces above my teeth. And I'm highlighting nose cavity opening with white paint. Then I'm highlighting my lower lip, skin pieces, wrinkles and forehead tips of my cheekbones, edges of chest and neck hole, collar bones. And as I mentioned, I'm changing shape of my skin pieces around more. I'm adding more details to teeth and I'm highlighting also more edges. Now with Creolan Collodium I'm creating realistic 3D wrinkles and scars. And here's tip from me. You can wash it easily from your skin with an oil, for example coconut one, and with nail polish remover from your desk. Now I'm using dry shampoo for dark hair to get rid of so clean colors and give myself more dirty look. I'm taking off an excessive amount of shampoo with my powder puff. I'm accenting again everything what I need to be very dark and very black. 
put some torn dress rugs and you can scare some peasants in the fields. Remember to make your hair messy and wail a lot. For this look I was inspired by Slavic mythology and a creature from Witcher universe. And as always, I love you very very much and I see you soon. Bye.